welcome to the day animals under the blanket. And welcome for joining in or hip and a little bit more of uh, hummingbird. Welcome to Animals Under the Blanket. Today we're talking about H's. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can see how the beard has grown since we started this episode. Uh, it'll, it'll be quite incongruent. Uh, there will be some beardedness and some not. Can you say welcome to Animals Under the Blanket? Welcome to Animals Under the Blanket. Today we're going to talk about H's. <laughs> or some other things. We don't know yet. But today we're going to be talking about the letter H. There's lots of H animals that we could choose from. And today we took some fun ones. We took a flying hummingbird, a hippopotamus, which we're going to flash to last week when we recorded it with Sarah in here. Awesome, okay. because mommy knows some facts about hippos. Let's talk about hippos. I love hippos. They're an amazing animal. And should we do the scientific name of hippos? Maybe yeah. if mommy gets the iPad, she can try and say the scientific Ooh, name. Let's find the scientific name of hippos. Hippopotamus. And there's okay, more so the scientific facts. name is the hippopotamus amphibious. Can you, you say, say that? Hippopotamus amphibious. Hippopotamus amphibious. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's. Like we often, we must say the scientific name. That's one animal where we actually just use the scientific name as their regular name. Do you, did, did you know that your your favorite animal, the scientific name, is also just his name three times? Bison, bison, bison. Bison, bison. No. You want your hood on too? The group so, name, so, Joshua. So that so a hippo plus a doe makes a big, 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 big. big Oh, you like to mix it up with animals, that's for sure. So Joshua, the hippopotamus is from the group Bloat. That's kind of a funny name. They're the flute, the group Bloat. So if there's a, a group of hippopotamuses, you can say, look at that bloat of hippopotamuses. <laughs> what if they do, if they're swimming under the water? I wonder if it's hippopotamuses or hippopotami. Hippo, I don't know. <laughs> well, we have to look that up. You said swimming. Mommy, okay, bring so, it bring in the swimming hippopotamus so fact. So, amphibious means that they live in water. Um and the name actually comes from the Greek name river horse. Cuz it's like a horse that's in the river. But did you know that hippopotamuses actually don't swim? And they don't even float. They can't even float in the water. They're too big. They have too much mass. They're such a big creature and there's so much mass to them. That they just sink in the water. But what they can do is they walk along the river floor and then they kinda jump and then they kinda they kinda move up to the surface and then down and they they stay in the shallow water a lot of the time. Yeah. Well, well sometimes well sometimes that that um sometimes um well in in a book um, the hippopotamus Oh. It well, the hippopotamus is on the top of the water, but that just means that the water isn't very deep. Do you know when Daddy stands in Grandma and Grandpa's pool, and he can stand well above the water, but you have to swim. So it would be the same thing because they're such a big animal that if, even if they're in uh, four or five feet of water, their head's still above it because they're such big animals. Well, and so they can actually hold their breath for a really long time. Should we do a breath holding contest? Let's see how long we can not breathe for. One, two, three, go. <gasps> oh, I'm very bad at holding my breath. Oh, I have to breathe. So we can't hold our breath for a very long time, but hippos, they can hold their breath for three to five minutes. They can hold their breath for a really long time. So they can go under the water and find some food over the water and eat some plants under the water. And then they can come up to the surface and breathe again. <gasps> they can hold their breath for three to five minutes. It's a long time. But they actually, they give birth in the water. They have babies in the water. They, they spend most of their life in the water. 
Hippopotamus stay in here. And other hippopotamus. Is this the water? Are other, we under the water? Our bloat of hippopotamus need to come back. Okay, bloat, assemble! Bloat, assemble, come! Oh dear. <laughs> Boys, stop. That's a cameraman. Aspiring. Oh dear. Aspiring cameraman. Alright, cameraman. <laughs> come, guys. Come back in. Wow, Joshua. Hippopotamuses are huge. Should we talk about how big a hippopotamus is? I think Daddy might have to fix the camera first, though. I know the camera's good. Okay, that's good. So a male hippo can weigh anywhere between 1,600 kilograms and 3,200 kilograms. What's a baby hippo? Baby hippo is born. I don't know. It doesn't say here. When when it's not born when. The baby hippo has not been born. It turned small one, small one, small one. Yeah. No, baby hippos get bigger and bigger and bigger, just like adult hippos. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I think no, when they're born, they're pretty big. But did, did you know, okay, so let's talk about, we like to talk about number of daddies, okay? So 3,200 kilograms, that's like probably 6,500 pounds, okay? So that's like... Oh my goodness, my mental math. 35 daddies. No, 350 daddies. Well, I take That's away... Like 350 daddies. Well, I take away That's five. A, That's uh, a lot of daddies. Take away five. Yeah. Take away five. No, 35. 35 daddies. Not, 30, not 350. Well, I take away five. 35? 30 daddies? mechanism and you know what that is they can actually so their tail hey, do you know that hippos tails are kind of right above their bum hole and so what they do Joshua look at mommy sometimes when they need to like have a defense mechanism they take their tail look Joshua look at mommy and then they poop and they whip their tail around and so their poop flings at their enemies isn't that gross, Joshua? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's a crazy defense mechanism. It's like they put their poop through a fan and it blows all over their enemies. Mom. That's crazy. That's a crazy thing that hippos do. Well, I, well, I go poop. You have to go poop? Okay. Um, Should we pause? Um, yeah. Okay, pause. Pause the video. Pausing. Bathroom break. No, 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 I well they poop on the ground. Let's talk about the hummingbird. Do you want to start with some facts or do you want to hear the scientific name first? I want to hear the scientific name. Okay, the scientific name of a hummingbird is a trochilidae. Let's put it all together. Okay, you ready? Trochilidae. Trochilidae. Go! Good job! You said it! So the hummingbird? A doe! A doe. A um, hummingbird is pretty small. So I, it only gets... I, all about a chicken. If so, it's, it's a chicken humming. Also, if you put a doe together, you cook it, and then you cut it, and then you cook it, and then you eat it. Okay. 
So, Joshua. About this chicken hummingbird. Yeah. So, a hummingbird is a this. It, a chicken hummingbird. Okay, you say chicken hummingbird and I'll a just say hummingbird. The hummingbird is. No, no, you say chicken bird. Okay. A chicken hummingbird, also known as a hummingbird, if it's in a group of other birds, it's called a charm. A charm of hummingbirds. I call it a charm and a pack. And a pack? You call it a pack too? Yeah. Yeah, so that's another group of animals are often called packs. What's a pack? Well, it's normally a pack of wolves or a pack of dogs. So that's the group name for them. And did what? you know that the what? hummingbird is the smallest? They are the smallest migrating bird. Come here and I'll tell you what migrating means. Don't touch it. Yep. I need some another food. Because this episode has probably taken us over a month to finally get finished. Why do you take that down here? Uh, what? Why did you take that down here? What did I take what down here? That, this blanket. This blanket? Oh, it's part of our set. We always have this blanket in our, in our set. But that was for up, 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 up here. Oh yeah, we'll put it back up in your bed later, for sure. So today we're finishing off some of the H's that we talked about, and we might just talk about a little bit of them again. We'll find out. If we can talk about dolphins. You want to talk about dolphins first? Mm -hmm. Hit me with the dolphin fact. What do you remember about dolphins? Sploosh. They sploosh? And they swim? They sploosh right into the water. Right into the water, those dolphins do? Sploosh. Sploosh, sploosh. Sploosh. All right, let's talk about... Okay, let's get rid of this thing. Because, um, Joshua, it makes a really bad crinkling noise. Here, just put it down over there. When are we going to make the crinkling noise again? Uh, just when we're not doing the podcast. Because when people are going to be listening to this, it's, it, they're going to have that crinkle noise. And that's going to be not very fun in their in their headphones. And because then if well, the song will come just right out of their headphones. Yeah, the song's coming right out of their headphones. If you it, are absolutely it, right. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle sounds. With crinkle, crinkle, crinkle sounds? <laughs> With this? Yeah, yeah, just leave the crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, crinkle, crinkle. Okay, let's talk a little bit about hippos, Joshua. Um, no. You'll need an app for me to help with that. Oh, Try no. Sir. Bad Siri. She started talking. What, um, do you, what do you know about, about hippos? I'm um, so... Let's we'll start with the scientific name about hippos. All right, let me pull up the scientific name about hippos. It's hippopotamus and phibius. Could we put that all together? Okay, so we got to start off with part of it. Can you say hippopotamus? Hippopotamus. And can you say amphibious? Amphibious. Now can you say hippopotamus and phibius? Hippopotamus. Oh, wow, we did it. That is the scientific name of a hippopotamus. Based on my pronunciation, hopefully it's correct. Uh, so a group of hippopot hippopotami, when there's a bunch of them, they're called a bloat. I a mean, bloat of hippopotami. Is it, is, or is it hippopotamuses? I think it's hippopotami. No, hippopotamus? Hippopotamuses is probably easier to say because you just add s but i think it's hippopotami Hippo. like octopi because a bunch of octopuses octopuses are called octopi not octopuses because hippopotamus already ends in an s so that's why we have to say it a little bit differently oh i'm a hippo so what does what did you learn about the hippopotamus i'm a hippopotamus did you learn anything from that video that you just watched Nothing? Are hippopotamus uh, gentle or fierce? I only watch when they sploosh into the water. You only watch when they splooshed into the water? Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'll let you know that the name comes from the Greek. Sploosh! For river horse. It kind of seems like river horse would be an appropriate name for the hippos. 
Although they, although they like the river, do you know there's something, something interesting that they can't swim. Who can't swim? A hippopotamus can't swim. Why can it not swim? Uh oh, I'm wearing my glasses. Why I'll, can it not? I'll take swim? off my glasses just because there's the blue filter there. That's why I always go un without my glasses. Cause it shines off the camera. Okay. Uh, sorry. What did you say? Um. I said, "What can't swim?" A hippopotamus can't swim. Why can it not swim? Well, I think it probably because it's too big. Yeah, and it can only walk. It can only walk, so it it walks on the bottom of the water. And it pushes itself up, so it can hold its breath a really long time. And it has its, its yeah. <gasps> oh, I can't hold my breath very long. Uh, and it has nostrils on the top of its head so that it can be under the water almost all the way, but still be breathing. So it would be like us if we had to, if we had the water and we just had our noses above. And just our noses were above the water so that we could breathe. But theirs on top of their head so they can still see. But us, if we try and do that, then we wouldn't be able to see except for in the sky. And then that'd be pretty dangerous if a lion was trying to get us. Do you think that a lion could take down a hippopotamus when it's fully grown? No. No? Because it can't swallow. No, because it wouldn't be able to swallow it. But it's, And it's also so big. Uh, so the hippopotamus, they... They don't really have a predator. Chomp, chomp, chomp! Woo. <laughs> the big owie chompers. The big owie chompers? <laughs> Who has big chompers? <laughs> the hippopotamus. Yeah, the hippopotamus has big chompers. <laughs> do, you have, do you have little chompers? No, let's talk about the hippopotamus' chompers. <laughs> What, is, what have you seen a hippopotamus chomp with his teeth? Uh, big, 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 big crocodile! A <laughs> big crocodile? I don't think I've ever seen that. I watched a video where a hippopotamus took a big bite of a watermelon and it oh. chomped that. <laughs> and it just took a big, big bite of a pear! A big bite of a pear? <laughs> oh, wow. That would be a big bite. Um, a big bite of uh, um um a hippopotamus standing in front of a watermelon on a bed and then chomp chomp chomp. Yeah. <laughs> he will eat all the watermelon and the pear. All the watermelon and the pear. Uh -huh. The hippopotamus would like that. Yeah. Why don't you face face that way a little bit? And then Should I sit up forward so that you can can talk to me? Instead, I want to sit there. You want to switch so sides? Get switch. You go behind. Here you go. Switcheroo. Switcheroo. So, I just want to talk about um, him e still eating food with his chompers. You want to still talk about him eating food with his chompers? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to just angle this a little bit better towards you. Because that's... What we gotta do, oh, here, let's just. Oh, that worked better. Perfect. Okay, uh, sorry, say that, what you said again? What did you say? Um, um, let's talk about what he still eats it with his chompers again. What he still eats with his chompers again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I saw him eat a watermelon with his chompers. And did you see him eat a pear with his chompers? I didn't see him eat a pear with his chompers. But I did. You saw him eat a pear with the chompers? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Uh, what else do we know? Can, uh, when, we're, when we're talking about holding breath, the hippopotamus can hold their breath for three to, three to five minutes. Isn't that a long time? How long, are you actually holding your breath? Are you breathing through your nose? You're breathing through your nose, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you're breathing through your nose. You're just puffing up your cheeks. Look, Daddy, you can hold your breath and you go, <gasps> 
Yeah, that's holding your breath. That's fun. Um, Is that how long a, a hippopotamus can hold it? Uh, longer. So they can hold it three to five minutes. So that's that's quite a bit longer, actually. Here, what? Are, I'm just gonna move the camera just a little bit. I think. A little bit more like in like this will be better for us because you're. What I figured. Oh man, I need to turn that Siri off. Silly girl. It's still the Siri. Silly girl. Oof. Uh, the Siri's still on. The Siri's still on. Yeah, I know. I'll have to fix it a different time. She's gonna say it again. She's gonna say what again? She's gonna say hi. Hello. Probably. Um, okay. Um. Oh, oh no! Oh no? Yes! Yes. Who's, where's that old fashioned girl? Old fashioned girl? Mm. Uh, well, she's pretty new fashioned. I'd say Siri is, uh, is a new technology, not an old technology. Okay. Nice. Um. Did you know that when the hippo gives birth, they do it in the water? Who lays the eggs? Who lays the eggs? Well, hippopotamus have what we call a live birth. So a live birth means that when they come out, they're not in an egg. They're ready to walk around. When are they in the egg? Uh, so hippos aren't, but chickens, chickens, they lay the egg. And then when they're all fully formed, after, I don't know, probably like 21 days or something, then uh, then they, they peck themselves out of their shell. Same with snakes have a have a egg and then they get themselves out of the egg. I'm a snake. You're a snake. Could you weigh me? Could I weigh you, the snake? Um, could you sit on me? Sit on you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm you're an gonna, egg. Oh, you're an egg. Mm -hmm. Maybe just maybe just go under my legs. <laughs> All right, be safe, Miss Little Egg. I'm mine. What what kind of egg are you? Snake. A snake egg. Oh, okay. Oh, and now the egg is, oh, oh, and now we have a snake. Okay, come back in, snake this way. Joshua, you have to be careful. Make sure you keep snaking, yeah. I'm a big snake. You are a big snake -oo. I'm a big, 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 what? Okay, let's. What we... kind of snake is big? What kind of snake is big? Mm. Uh, King Cobra is pretty big. I'm a big King Cobra. Yeah. I think the King Cobras have a big neck too. It looks pretty pretty cool. Uh, so Joshua, I think we talked about the hippopotamus. You want to move on to the hedgehog? No, I no. Go to the King Cobra. The King Cobra? But King Cobra doesn't start with the letter H. Or should we talk about uh, hyena? Hedge. Hedgehog? What is his scientific name? The hedgehog's scientific name is Aranacinae. Aranacinae. Can you say Aranacinae? How can King Cobra... Um, can, you, can the King Cobra say that? Can the King Cobra say Aranacinae? Aranacinae. Very good. So that's a scientific name of a hedgehog. What else is in a hedgehog? A hedgehog? It, when they're in a big group of hedgehogs, they're called an array. What? An How? array of hedgehogs. Um, I'm a... Another fact about, Ooh. while you're being Mr. Chicken, I'll tell you some facts about hedgehogs. So the hedgehogs are nocturnal. Do you remember when we talked about no nocturnal animals? But I'm still... You can still be a chicken. But I'm still cock. I have a little cock in my egg and I'm still in my egg. Oh, I thought you cracked out of your egg. You're still uh, cracking? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, while you're cracking, I'll tell you what nocturnal Cause, means. Because I, cause I didn't crack the top. Oh, you didn't crack the top yet. Okay. So nocturnal, Joshua, means that they are awake during the night. So when it's dark, that's when hedgehogs are ac most active. Um, um, who sleeps? Um, when do chip it? Chickens sleep. So chickens are not nocturnal. They ha they are they sleep during the night. So if you turn oh well actually in uh, in chicken barns they'll turn on the lights 
and turn off the lights, and whenever the lights are on, they'll think that it's day, and whenever it, the lights are off, they'll think that it's night. So they can, they're, they're trained by the light. Not even by time of day, just by the light. If there's a light on, then they're awake. If the light turns off, then they're, they're gonna be sleeping more. And I'll tell you that hedgehogs actually hibernate, kind of like bears. Isn't that interesting? I'm still in my nest. You're still in the nest? Mm. Another thing about hedgehogs is that they eat insects and worms and caterpillars and berries. They eat a lot of different things. Is that a hedgehog has around 5,000 to 7,000 spikes on its back. <laughs> kind of cold. You need to warm up again? Mm -hmm. While you warm up, why don't I start us on to the hyena? So the hyena, should we talk about the scientific name of the hyena? Mm -hmm. Scientific name of the hyena I only is have, a crocuta. Crocuta. You only have three cracks? Mm -hmm. How many cracks do you need before you'll be a full chicken? Um, I need four cracks. Four cracks? Okay, well we better warm you up. Warm, 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 warm. Warm, 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 warm. So yeah, the scientific name of a hyena is a croca... Krakuta, Krakuta, Krakuta. Isn't that funny? Krakuta, Krakuta. Can you say that? Josh? No. Do you want to know the group name of a group of hyenas? No, I, um. It's called a uh, cackle. Um. Cackle of hyenas. Um, now I'm a hedgehog. Now you're a hedgehog? Mm. So you got spikes on your back. <laughs> 5,000 to 7,000 spikes on your back. Oh, I touched your back. Oh, my hand. Oops. I don't think a hedgehog roars. Do you think a hedgehog roars? They're pretty small. They're they're more like a, a little rodent, like a mouse. But they're kind of scary. They're kind of scary. Because of their spikes? There's one famous hedgehog that I know about. His name is Sonic the Hedgehog. He can run real fast and he's blue. And he's on a cartoon and video games. Um, but anyways, we, we kind of started talking about hyenas. Do you think I'm Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, you're pretty fast. You could be. You could be pretty fast. <laughs> uh, so we're talking about hyenas a little bit. <laughs> so they kind of look like wild dogs, right? Is Sonic the Hedgehog a boy? Sonic is a boy, yep. Do you think I'm Sonic? You could be Sonic the Hedgehog if you want. When does Sonic grow his spikes? When does Sonic use his spikes? I don't know. Grow That's his spikes. Grow his spikes? Mm -hmm. Oh, they grow from when they're a little baby. And then they start to grow. And I think I think they probably fall off. There's a hyena! Oh, there's a hyena! Oh, there's a lot of them! It must be a cackle of hyenas. Nope. It's just a baby and a mommy. Just a baby and a mommy hyena? Mm-hmm. So the babies are called cubs. People often think that hyenas just eat the, f the, the leftovers from other animals. They think that they just scavenge their food, but actually a hyena kills uh, 66 to 90% of their food. Um, so they're opportunistic, but they also will, they'll, they'll get their own food as well. Um, um, get their own food from which animal? Uh, so hyenas will eat pretty well anything, I think. But I'm giving a hyena from one of my leftovers. One of your leftovers? Mm -hmm. Oh, what leftover did you give the hyena? Uh, um, I gave uh, the hyena one of my, um, what, um, what kind of, I, I had an old, old owl that I ate. You had an old owl that you ate that you gave to the hyenas? Mm-hmm. Well, that's nice so, of you. So I gave, because that was pretty big, so I needed to share it with my hyena friends. That's a good idea to share. The hyenas also share. They they, they get their animals in, in their pack, so, or, or I guess their, their cackle. They get it all together. They go and they hunt for animals, and then they all share their food. Do they share it with other animals? Sometimes they're sharing with other animals. But... Today they're sharing with a hedgehog. Today they are sharing with a hedgehog. Because you're such a nice hedgehog that you gave them some food. 
uh, hyena cubs, they're completely dependent on their mom um, to provide them milk for their first six months of their life. Um, now I'm gonna put all your mommy hedgehog suit. Oh, can I be a daddy hedgehog though? No, you have to be a mommy. Ah, oh, okay. I'll pretend to be a mommy hedgehog. I need some milk! You need some milk? Mm -hmm. Here you go. Yummy, yummy. I don't know if hedgehogs drink milk. They, maybe. They're mammals, so probably. They spend the most time with their cub um, than any um, other terrestrial carnivore. Because um, there's only three hyenas here. There's only three hyenas here? Only the daddy and the other baby are resting in... Where do they... Where's their house? Where's their house? Mm -hmm. Well, I think they kind of live in, a, in dens. But, but um, the daddy and the baby and the number four baby are still in the den. They're still in the den? Because I think they're kind of, they they do like foxes. I, and this may be wrong, I, I forgot to look it up. But when we're talking about are they more like cats or more like dogs, mm -hmm. they're actually more like cats. Because they're members of, you know, our scientific names? Mm -hmm. All of our scientific names come from the different species names and and all that kind of stuff. So the subspecies for hyenas, the classification is more cat-like because it's Philoforma, form, form, formia, Philoformia, which is the same as a cat. All right, so Joshua's just gone backstage for a moment. While he does that, I will tell you that the spotted hyenas often get into their 20s in the wild. They get to 20 years old in the wild. What? So a hyena, it gets to about 20 years old in the wild. Hello, hedgehog. And they once got one in captivity all the way to 40 years old. Here's Peaky. Here's Peaky Peaky. Here comes Peaky Sonic. Peaking Sonic, hello. <laughs> hello, little hedgehog. <laughs> Are you having fun playing animals under the blanket? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, you're having fun. <laughs> you're, is it like an extreme yes? Like a super yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's good. This is how I say super yes. <laughs> that's how you say you're super happy? Yeah. Yeah. So hyenas kind of have a, a cackle or a laugh, but often it's related to them being anxious. Now or they, nervous why or they, uncertain. Why do they get nervous? Why do they get nervous? Well, if there's a predator around, maybe if there's a lion that, that's bugging them or something like that, then they would get nervous. But, and they, they make tons of different but, noises. But, and a lion is bugging somebody right now. Yeah, then the hyenas would be... <laughs> no, that sounded like a monkey. Uh, I forgot to listen to, I should have listened to a cackle, but the um, cackle, um, they laugh. But, uh, ha, um, ah, ah, that's, um, you said more a monkey. Right? I know, I said more a monkey. It's like, I, I can't even in my brain right now get to a laugh of a, of a hyena. Cause it's kind of like Can you, can you do it from when you watch Lion King? <laughs> that is way better than daddy's version. Yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of like that. He can do more tackles of a hyena. Yep, you can, you can. The whoop is their most uh, common call, and that's heard throughout the night. And they actually can have several different kinds of hoops that mean, that mean different things. Could, kind of similar to a, a wolf's howl. Could you kind of talk about something else about a hyena's cackle? Could you say uh, more about it? I don't really have more to say about it. Uh, do we say how big they are? Um, no. So, ah! from paw to shoulder, they're about 77 to 81 centimeters. Hmm. And they're 40, 40 to 86 hmm. kilograms. What do hedgehogs eat? What do hedgehogs eat? Should we look that up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye, alligator. Okay, let's try again. I'll say, I'll, I'll say, 
thanks for watching. Then you say animals under the blanket. Then I'll say see you later, alligator. And you say bye bye, crocodile. Right? Thanks so much for watching. Animals under the blanket. See you later, alligator. <laughs> see you later, alligator. In a while, <laughs> crocodile. <laughs> Because I hadn't said the same thing as you. You did say the same thing as me.